Hi, Tracy Sestilli here for Social Strand Media, and I wanted to talk to you today about Facebook's new uh, layout and user interface for Facebook Insights. Uh, it's been redesigned to give you more transparent information so that you can have more actionable decisions and get the best out of your brand page. So across the top, you'll notice that if you've logged in, you'll see six new tabs, overview, likes, reach, visits, posts, and people. Under the overview page, you'll see data for the past seven days, and it basically is a high-level overview of how your page is doing. So you'll see the page likes, and you'll see total likes, and then um, what the percentage is up from last week, and then this week versus last week. And the same for post reach, you'll see the post reach for the past seven days, and then this week versus last week. And then over here under engagement, it's really nice that they've broken it out versus for likes, comments, shares, and clicks. So it's really clear now of what type of engagement has happened over the past seven days without you having to hunt for it. Then below that, you'll see your five most recent posts, and not much has really changed here. Um, the type and targeting and the reach, engagement, and promote, these columns are still the same as they were you know, a few weeks ago. But what's uh, different now is that under the reach column, you'll see that there is um, a nice little hover card. And so if you have something that you've promoted, you'll be able to see very quickly um, what the reach was versus paid versus organic, instead of going into um, the posts uh, tab in the old insights and kind of looking at the graph there. The other great thing from here is that under um, the promote column, if you did promote it, you'll be able to see how much that reach, that paid reach cost you. So you can see that um, for the paid reach here, we promoted this post and it was $9.48 and we reached 2013 additional people from the 911 we would have normally reached. So that's really great. Next up is the page likes. And you'll notice that um, you have a new uh, thing here for the date. So before um, getting the date range was a little tricky. But now it's really easy, so you can look at one week, one month, or a quarter. And, or you can just you know, come in here and change the dates. Or you can actually take this bar and kind of move it. And you can move the bar on one side or the other, or you can take the whole thing and just kind of drag it along. So very cool interactive feature there. Your total page likes below that um, allows you to kind of benchmark and see how you've been doing over time. And then below that is what's changed. So you can kind of see your unlikes, organic likes, paid likes versus, and then your total net likes. Um, and you can click on each one of these and kind of see how that's changed period over period. And then below that is where your likes came from. So you can look and see if they've come from ads or sponsored stories, if they've come from mobile, page suggestions um, on your page or other sources. So that's also really cool. Next under reach, um, the date range here works the same way as it did under likes and so you can slide it around and whatnot. Uh, below that is your post reach. So this is where you can look at organic versus paid a bit more in depth. And then below that you'll have your likes, comments and shares. And this is where you can kind of dissect the engagement that you saw on the overview page. And then below that, um, this is really interesting and important. It's kind of, you know, these are actions that people have taken that will hide your content from their news feed. So this is where you can see how many people have hid your posts or if they've clicked hide all posts or if they've reported your page as spam or if they've unliked your page. And then below that is your total reach. And this gives you organic versus paid. And you'll see that um, this gives me as of today, uh, my total reach for um, was 16 and my organic and paid. So uh, pretty cool there. And you can actually click on any day and basically drill into it. So that's what it's allowing you to do. And you previously were not able to, uh, to be able to drill into any of these charts. So that's super cool on this one. Next, under visits, you can also, again, slide the dates around. And everything um, below this is based off of these dates, right? So um, you can see your page tab visits, um, where people are going, timeline, photo tab, admin tabs. And this will give you, you know, some of the tabs that you have listed. Uh, other page activity, people that have mentioned your brand, 
um, posts by other people, check-ins, um, and offers purchased if you're a local place or if you um, do any kind of offers on your page. And then external referrers, um, this will give you uh, where the pages are coming from. And what's really cool here is you can also drill into this um, graph as well. And so in this, I'll give you an example here. If I click here um, on, I can see that on September 6th, um, I had two different referrers and um, each one represented, you know, the percentage of referrals for that day. Next under posts, um, this is where you can see when your fans are online and then how your posts are doing by post type. So when your fans are online, you can... Um, hover over each one of these and kind of see how, um, when the best time to post is that your fans are engaging with your content. Below that you'll see all posts published and this is uh, what the old insights used to look like. So it gives you the date that it was published and the type and the, um, if you did any specific targeting, your reach, uh, the engagement, this was um, the complicated thing that you had to look at before, and then um, the promoted. So nothing really new there. Under post types, when you click on there, this um, will tell you kind of, you know, which types of posts do the best. So you can see that for this page, um, photos actually do really, really well. The average reach is 3.9 thousand, and um, links do okay, but um, not really, really as well. They do about 25% of what photos do. So. And I encourage you to kind of look at this as you as you look at your page because this is not the case for every page. I know a lot of people think that photos do the best, and you know Facebook has been coming inundated with photos from every brand. Um, but actually, a lot of different um, you know post types work for different brands. So just and I encourage you to look at that, and then it'll give you the average engagement, and this is really nice too. Um, and you can kind of see what the average number of post clicks or the average number of likes, comments, and shares. Um, so really, really cool stuff here. And then lastly on the people tab, um, what's super cool about this is uh, it gives you your fans and it compares them to the rest of Facebook. So um, for this particular page, 86% of the fans are women compared to all of Facebook, which is 46%. Um, and you can, you know, hover over each one of these and kind of get the percentages, which is really nice. And then below that, you'll have um, country and, um, and city and language statistics like you've had before. The people reached kind of gives you something very similar. Um, and then it compares it to um, people reached versus how many of them were your fans. So, and that's over the past 28 days. So uh, very, very cool there. And then again, with the city, country, and language. And then under people engaged, um, you'll notice same concept. So these are the people that have liked, commented, or shared your post in the past 28 days. Um, how many of these people were engaged? And then um, which percentage of those were actual fans? So really, really cool stuff here. And I hope that you will take a look at the new Facebook Insights and uh, use it to your advantage. Let me know if you have any questions.